I'm going to talk about some of the really weird footnotes in the ESV. We're going to start out here in Job chapter 42, verse 6 in the King James Bible. It says, Wherefore I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. All right. Obviously, it's talking about Job here. Um, after God puts him in his place, essentially, and he says about how you know, he comes to the right position as a sinner, sinner should that's in communication with God. Uh, when God shows you your sin, you, you abhor yourself and you repent in dust and ashes. Look what the ESV says here. Job 42, verse 6, Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. You say that's fairly close. But look at the footnote. Or am comforted. I uh, repent in dust and ashes or am comforted in dust and ashes. It's kind of strange, isn't it? You know, I mean, when I'm when I'm feeling, you know, stressed out from work, I like to just go and get comfortable in some dust and ashes. Yeah, okay. Uh, very odd. Now we'll go to Matthew. Uh, Matthew chapter. Uh, where are we at here? 9 verse 4. Matthew chapter 9. I want to read the King James Bible. Make sure we get God's word first here. Um, <clears throat> it says here, And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? Jesus, knowing their thoughts. He's God. He can pe read people's thoughts. ESV, but no, Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, "What do you? Why do you think evil in your hearts?" Again, somewhat close to the King James Bible, but look what it says. Footnote: Some manuscripts perceiving. He didn't know their thoughts. He just kind of perceived it, kind of a a caught power there or something. Apparently, he just kind of perceived it. <clears throat> I mean, why would you put that in the footnotes? It's absurd. All right. Next, we're going to go to. Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. 6, verse 19. Enter. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Lay, up, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Of course, you have moth there would destroy a lot of the wool garments and things. And if you if you don't think wool is a, an expensive thing, um, look into some real high quality wool clothing and wool blankets and things. Um, it's a lot more than what you're going to pay for synthetic, you know, uh, polyester types of things and whatever else. I mean, there are wool clothing. This I have a vest on right now, a Filson wool vest, and these things are very expensive. New. I bought this thing used on eBay, and it just doesn't wear out. I've had it for years now. Wear it a lot in the winter time. It's very warm. Um, wool is a very, very long lasting, high quality type of a thing. But if the one thing that's going to wear it out is a moth. A moth will go if there's any kind of food or sweat or any kind of thing on your wool, the moth will eat that. That's why people put their wool garments into a cedar closet or whatever else. So a moth can destroy your high dollar wool clothing. Uh, rust, obviously, if you have metal, things that are made out of metal, um, it can, you know, corrode it. And of course, rust uh, can sometimes in your King James Bible refer to just corrosion in general. But look at the weird footnote in the ESV. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. You have rust there, but the footnote says, or worm. Yeah, rust and worm are they're pretty much the same thing, you know. Okay, so just thought I'd show a couple of these just to show. I'm sure I'll have more in the future. Weird footnotes and things from the uh, English Standard Version, but uh, you know that would be uh, if that's all it was, just weird footnotes. Well. You'd say, well, just get one that doesn't have the footnotes or whatever else. But uh, now if you're watching some of these videos, you'll see it's actually the text itself that is heretical. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.